Stuart Moore. Ten minutes of interesting information about uh, the scenario there in terms of the relationship between the dressing rooms and the park, the proximity of the fans at uh, Bordeaux, but I'll not preempt what you're going to say. Oh. 4th June 1998. Scotland's off to the World Cup finals in France. Having just returned from a preparatory trip to the USA, we all met in a hotel in East Kilbride. There, referee Hugh Dallas gave us a talk on the new directive from FIFA. There was to be a clamp down on tackles from behind. The next set we'll see in their eyes and yellow cards. The next set are red cards in their eyes. The big danger here is uh, the referees overreacting. And if there is any advice that I can, I mean, obviously, tackles have got to be, have got to be forthcoming. But you've got to think twice before you commit tackles like that. An unusual kitting out session. The players had been provided with kilts to wear at the opening match against Brazil and they were very proud to appear in the national costume. Even the lads who are based south of the border, in fact, in particular, the players from England. And once everyone was fully clothed, it was time for the official photograph. An impressive and uh, most unusual team group. The players signed the frames of the photograph, which they'll be given as a memento of their appearance in the World Cup. Next day we arrived at Glasgow Airport, where a huge crowd had gathered to see us off. Not only friends and family were there, but the press, of course, were there in strength too. Reports coming in from your spies about uh, quite apart from the results, how they've been getting on. Well, we've had uh, confidence in the future of the day. Everyone wanted snaps, even with the young players who were brought along to help with training. Once in the terminal building, it became an impromptu press conference with the Scottish Daily Journalists. Our hotel in St Remy de Provence. The advance party headed by security advisor Willie McDougall already there and awaiting the arrival of the team. We received a very warm welcome from the staff of the hotel. And almost immediately we had to depart for a press conference in the village. In addition to the Scottish media, there were others from the world press. We had a press conference like this every day at which different players were invited to appear. After the group session each day, there were individual interviews. On this occasion, John Collins and the captain, Colin Henry, represented the players. Succeed into the next round. I honestly think we've got enough after that to see game back. 
And of course, there was no problem talking to the local journalists. John Collins did that admirably in French. Down to work at last uh, at the superb training ground in the village. We prepared our squad there daily and uh, there were no injuries, so everyone was raring to go. Christian got up to date with the news from home. Whilst up on the balcony, tactics were planned for our opening game against Brazil. The tactical moves were first of all drawn up in paper and then put into practice on the training ground. This was the mess up free kick, although the players have another name for it. And we practiced corner kicks for and against. It took repeated practice, as it always does. We prepared very well for the Brazil game. We discussed our tactics in detail and then we told the players the team. The lads had a laugh at the mugshots on the accreditation cards. The photographer certainly wasn't very popular. Christian wasn't too happy with the music he had to listen to on the bus. Scott Booth thought the music was so bad he decided to fall asleep. Spirits were high as we took the team coach to Nîmes Airport to, to fly to Paris. Well, here we are in Nîmes Airport, waiting to board the plane to, for one of the biggest games in the history of the World Cup. I think all the boys are looking forward to it. We've had a, a right good night, good laugh, and um, I think they've all settled down. And it doesn't look as if there's any, any nerves around. Fantastic experience and maybe even a wee result at the end of it. Let's hope so. We're ready to be the best we can be.